Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial. So I promised you guys that I would be uploading um, a video every day this week and then I realized Friday is actually New Year's and let's all be real, New Year's Eve can get a little crazy. So I don't want to promise that I will have a video on Friday. So this will be the last tutorial that I will have up for this week. But starting next week, I will be up in my regular schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So since this is the last tutorial and my past tutorials have been pretty bright, um, I wanted to definitely tone it down this time. I still use glitter as a liner, as you can see. I just can't stay away from glitter. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave me a comment down below on what videos you guys would like to see next. Let's make 2016 even better. So thank you guys again for all your support. I really appreciate every single one of you. Believe me, nobody goes unnoticed. And thank you for all the comments you guys always leave me. With that said, Happy New Year's. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you next year. Bye, guys. So I'm taking the NYX Avant Pop eyeshadow and I'm taking this first shade. This is by, or actually I think this is a new Chic palette and it's a really pretty like peachy color. I'm taking that and applying it as a transitional color. Just doing a back and forth swipey motion. Then I'm going to take this dark brown color and I'm going to concentrate this mostly on the, um, the outer corner of my eye. This is just going to... Bring a little bit more depth into the eyes and blending it as I go. I'm taking a mix of these two purple colors and I'm applying a little bit of my Wet n Wild setting spray. Just wetting my brush and then applying it onto the lid. And then I'm going to just start packing it on until I get the desired look. It doesn't really matter how much you put because I'm going to be covering it up with a different color in a, in a second. But I'm just packing that on onto the lid until I get everything nice and blended. I'm going to take this NYX single eyeshadow. I think it's called Bed Sheets or something like that. I will have it listed down below. But it's a really pretty bronzy shade and I'm applying that with my finger. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to apply a little bit more dark brown just so I can get, again, a little bit more depth in there and then I just go back and forth and to make sure that everything is blended with the other eye just so they can look as closely similar as possible. And then I do take a little bit of black eyeshadow from the NYX palette and I apply it just to the outer corner. I am going to go back with that same brush that I used to apply the brown shadow and I'm going to make sure that I blend out that black just so I don't bring it in too much. I really want it to be on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I'm going to take the liner part that has the glitter and I'm going to be drawing my wing liner. With this you do have to go over it several times to get it super intense and glittery looking. But at the end, the results are amazing and look so pretty. I'm going to take the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess and I'm going to apply those onto my lash line just to create a little bit more va va -voom. Now I'm going to take the Dream Velvet Foundation by Maybelline. I got the color 75 Honey Beige and 90. As you can see, that one was a little too light for my skin tone. So I did go in with 90 Honey Beige and I make sure that I blended both of them together and it looks okay at the end. I still think that I need to mix them together but I really like this foundation. It's very velvety, it's very creamy and it does leave my, my skin matte all day. Um, I also use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand Sable. This is my favorite drugstore concealer of life. So. I just used that with a beauty blender and made sure that I blended everything in. And then I do go in and set my concealer. I didn't do any baking because my skin has been extra dry. And baking just literally makes me look like a viejita. Like my skin looks so stretched out. So I just used a fluffy brush to set my concealer with my NYC Translucent Powder. I'm going to go into the NYX Contour Palette, and I almost dropped it. So I'm going to take a mix of that color, and then I'm going to mix another color, actually. And I'm going to use this brush to contour my cheekbones just a little bit. And I do use that same color just to bronze up my skin. Again, because that foundation was a little too light for me, I made sure that I used 
a little heavy hand on the bronzer. So I bronze up my face all over my forehead with these Luxie brushes. I know that these aren't drugstore, but I've really been digging these brushes. So I'm just going to use that to bronze up my face. And then I do use a big stippling brush just to blend everything. Um, the contour look a little harsh at the beginning, but then once I went in and mixed everything, then it was fine. But that was my boyfriend saying hi. So I took an e.l.f. eyeshadow. I will have the name down below, but I used it as a highlight, and it's a really pretty true gold highlight. I really, really liked it. I'm going to go into another NYX Avant Pop eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply a gold shadow to the inner corners. I do have some swatches on these um, palettes if you guys are interested I will have the link down below and then I'm going to smoke out a little bit the lower lash line using that peach color and then the brown color underneath my lash line as well this look is very very simple and it really took me about 10 minutes to do everything and then after that you just want to apply your lipstick this is by Beach Cosmetics in the color Mousse I believe so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching happy new years I love you guys so much and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye guys